Hello! I've been making again. I've been watching a few videos online um, with like altered shoes in and stuff and obviously I've altered some um, baby shoes. There's, there's an, one of the videos there and got back on my on my channel and um, I thought I would um, have a go at making my own shoes. Um, and I just sort of, I've had the pattern printed out for ages and I just never got round to it. So it's the Marie Antoinette. If you go on to Google, you'll be able to, oops, you'll be able to um, see uh, there's actually the template there. It, it's it got like all the bits for your shoe. Um, and then you can make it into a heel if you want to because they've got the score lines on. So I printed that off and um, I thought I'd have a go and I've got some fabric so um, I bought some fabric from the charity shop ages and ages ago it's like a sample fabric when they have the sample books so and it was quite a shabby chic sort of fabric so basically I made up glued up the shoe and as I was doing it I um, sort of put the arch of the arch of the shoe in here where your foot would go and I thought that would make a really good inlet and quite a safe inlet for stick pins and I thought well then you could have that as like a wall hanging so basically what I've done is I've put some lace inside and then stuck my, my stick pins in and then um, this bit of bling is from um, some jewellery at Primark this lace was from Kerry Denya. Thanks, Kerry. Um, I got it in a swap. Uh, we did the um, altered Tic Tac um, box. And then this was from... Um, I won a competition over at, at uh, Crafty Godmothers. So that was from there. Um, and then this, I believe, was from I won... A, uh, challenge oh must be about two years ago um, and that was from Emily it was for a 12 by 12 um, 12 by 12 piece um, layout scrapbook layout that I did and I won that um, inside here is one of my um, homemade cabochons and then some of the string bling just around there, the beaded bling, and then they're my stick pins. And then I've done another one, and this time I've used um, neck curtain, just bog standard neck curtain. And um, yeah, I glued it all, and then you, I popped the bottom on there. You could probably put like a pattern paper on the bottom. And again, I've used one of my cabochons there, and then inside I've popped the the wadding and my stick pins that I've made in there and then my um, this was actually from Primark as well but I've actually just stuck one of these bling pieces in the middle of it and then some trim just around the outside there and then this was actually the bottom of the neck curtain that I've ruched and popped in the front so I think I'm going to put some ribbons and things on the back here so then you can hang them on the wall. So I think they would look really good. So that's what I have been working on over the last few days. So um, leave a comment and keep crafting! <laughs> 